This is Twit. Phil, in uh, Leicester, UK, wanted to check in for uh, your recommendations. First, big fan of the show. Learned about security over the years through the podcast and your superb free tools, Steve. Thank you for doing this for the community. Given the ever-increasing need to protect our computers, I was just wondering if you could recommend any good free firewall and virus anti-malware protection software. My apologies if you've already covered this and I've missed it. I'm currently using uh, Microsoft's Security Essentials with the built-in Windows 7 firewall and malware bytes, but I'd like to know if there are any free alternatives. Once again, many thanks. And I'm using the same thing. I'm not, I've never been a big user of third-party uh, AV stuff, and Windows Firewall you know, provides good you know, unsolicited incoming protection. So, uh, yeah, and of course, I'm also behind all kinds of layers of NATs and routers and things. So uh, I'm, you know, got good security, but I just thought it was an interesting question. I know that our listeners would would be interested, Leo, if you've got any favorites. Well, you know, we, we've had for many years a sponsor, ESET, which I think is excellent. Um, yep. Kaspersky, a lot of people say very good things about that. My kind of, most of the security people I know don't really take any extra steps. A, because they believe, and I think they're absolutely right, that really behavior is the biggest issue. Yep. Um, and so even, in fact, as we know with CryptoLocker, even if you've got the best antivirus, if you don't behave well on the net, even yep. inadvertently, it doesn't matter, right? So uh, I think a, a false reliance on, on antivirus is risky. Because it's not going to protect you if you're if you're clicking links and at opening attachments and you hey let's see what this is <laughs> you're going to get bit. Yep. <clears throat> uh, I think that uh, so, absolutely security essentials, while not even close to the best antivirus out there, is probably adequate. In fact, Microsoft's own monthly check with its uh, malware uh, removal tool is is a good start. In fact, you already have it if you have Windows. Uh, we've talked about this, I'm sure. You click Start, Run, MRT. You can do it. Doesn't yep. normally do a thorough scan, but you can coerce it to do a thorough scan. Uh, that that's not a bad idea. It's not an antivirus. It's not proactive, but it will. It's a great way to see if there's something on your system. And Microsoft does, I think, proactively remove the uh, some of the better known malware issues. Um, I think yep. Windows Firewall is fine. The issue, as we've said before, is it's a one-way firewall does not protect you against outbound attack, but it's great against protecting your systems against other systems that are on your network if somebody comes in and plugs in a infected. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the thing that annoys me a little bit about it is that it is, it is prone to software in your machine bringing down ports or o right. opening things into them. It allows it. And so... Yeah, and and so you know that was the trade-off Microsoft had to make for ease of use, which is why you really want to be behind a NAT router. Well, of course, I think every everybody everybody is, is. and yes. uh, yeah, and and that is of course a, a must-have, and that's a very that. But if you've got that, I think you really have got a very effective firewall because it's just dumb. Yeah. I, I I can't imagine anybody who listens to this show sits a computer out on the public internet with <laughs> without a router because um, that would be not advisable i almost fell victim to a um to a, a phishing email the other day and had to scold myself it came in looked like That's it was easy. from paypal yeah I'm, I'm i use paypal a lot and it yep. said just confirming we're adding another email address to your account and it's like oh what you know i mean and you know i take every precaution all of our users know we should take but there's always that, how did maybe something happen? Maybe somebody got in. Maybe this is legitimate. And, I mean, I was, like, reaching for the mouse. And I said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and sure enough, when I, I went over into my inbox and pulled the raw ASCII, and the whole thing was malicious. Yeah, it was just, yeah. it was, it, and, and the links were, were, were masked. It really is a problem that email, in, in, I'm still using an old Eudora client. I don't know if other E email clients are better, but I cannot see what is behind an email link. It will not show me uh, <clears throat> that the, the domain it refers to, and so it's really annoying. I mean, it just it's really trouble prone. Well, I don't use HTML email. I turn it off, and I and I really wish people wouldn't use it. I think it's a, it's terrible. Didn't you block yeah. HTML email for a long time? For a long time, yeah. I said, ah, that's not real email. You, but the problem is, everybody uses it. It's now, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's by far the majority of emails. 
Uh, malware bites. You know, a lot of people love malware bites. I have very mixed feelings about that. I, th I think it's also another case of a false sense of security. Yeah. If you if so if you Microsoft Security Essentials, while not a great antivirus, nobody thinks it's a great antivirus. Is okay if you want to buy an antivirus as a form of protection. I do like he said a lot. I think it's a really good antivirus. Um, <laughs> you know, my my best advice: use a Mac. Because almost all these attacks, including CryptoLocker, are uh, aimed at Windows. It's not that the Mac is inherently more secure, although they've done some very good things to protect you. Um, but it's just not a target. Uh, if you're, you, I love, if, I, I love what Apple is doing. If you're, Leo. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm really drifting in this direction. If you're compelled to use Windows, then all of this is germane. Um, or Linux. Linux would be appropriate too. Although uh, you have to be more of an expert to secure Linux than you do. Uh, on Windows or Mac. You really have to kind of know what you're doing.